Hi, this is Cherry, and I'm here at WonderCon, and I'm beyond ecstatic to be here for the press room of Archer. It's 10 years, and they've gone back in time. It's Archer 1999, and I cannot wait to talk to the cast and executive producing team about the new season, where our characters are going, where they've been, and what we can look forward to season 10 on F at Sets. This is Cherry, and I'm fangirling out at WonderCon Archer 1999. I'm here at WonderCon and I am fangirling because I'm talking Archer 1999. How are you guys doing? We're doing awesome. So excited to be here. Yeah, yeah first time for me. Is this? First time listener, long time call. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> now, I am so excited about you guys going into space. What was the idea behind um, moving from the World War II to future? Back to the future, to the yeah. future? For me, sci-fi is my absolute favorite genre of anything. I'm a sci-fi junkie. Um, I like uh, sci-fantasy as well, but like straight sci-fi for me is the most exciting um, genre we have. Maybe a little superhero, but sci-fi I'm yeah. just crazy about. And I think that anybody who's kind of our age, so that 30 to 40-ish range, Sci-fi is such an ingrained part of our upbringing. It's uh, kind of a natural way for us to go and to explore that kind of stuff. And it's really interesting to take all the things that we've liked growing up and like kind of mash them together. So you're going to find a little bit of Alien, a little bit of Next Generation, a little bit of uh, Star Wars in there, a little bit of... There's just like all of them are kind of all mixed in there together, you know? Even like feeling it's the uh, the crew of the... Oh, I can't remember. <laughs> Never mind. Anyways. I'm super excited about it, that they're divorced now. I assume yes. they didn't bring baby with them. No, there's no baby no, in this scenario. There, there is a reference to Seamus. Yeah. The, the, the ship. Yes. It's called Seamus. Yeah. Yeah. But that's all we... There's no that's baby. It. <laughs> there's, no ba there's no babies on this ship. Um, so... Going from the World War II to this, did you guys sort of storyboard it or did you guys say to yourselves, we really want to do something different to celebrate 10 years of Archer? Well, I think that uh, Adam always had this plan to go to space. And, uh, you know, I, when we started the season nine, I, we already knew that at the end of season nine that we would be going to space after that. So we did kind of have an idea. But then once we got there, we did kind of think, oh, is this going to be like a low-tech, more alien-inspired world uh, where they're just salvaging and just kind of doing crappy grind work? And then these aliens started showing up, so it became more of a uh, space opera type, broader thing. It's always more fun when aliens and like creatures and stuff show up in sci-fi, and then you have to deal with it, like that planet or that giant monster. I mean, there's an episode where... There's, I don't even know. They don't even know what to call it. It's just this giant space thing that they get swallowed into its belly and like getting out of it. They call it a, a cosmo crustacean. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and then there are like just alien races of people that we have to deal with that are always trying to find us and kill us. Uh, even Barry comes back, but he's no longer even Barry. Barry, he's just full cyborg after yeah. us. Um, His name is uh, Barry Six. So. <laughs> <laughs> what happened to Barry One through Five? I, I don't know. <laughs> Good question. They didn't get rebooted. Oh my gosh. So I am super excited about this new season. I've read up about as much as has been revealed. Um, as we're moving forward in season 10, are we going to have a size of season 11? Can we ask that? I mean, I can ask it. But I don't know we haven't sure. decided yet, to be completely honest with you. It's one of those things that we always wait until the end of the season happens, and then we make a decision. Um, I'm not certain when exactly we're going to have it. We're talking about it, but we haven't actually made a full decision. I, and I get my information from him, so I, that's all I know. <laughs> well, we want it so bad. Well, the thing that I'm excited about is... This season feels completely super fun to me because it's I just such a to see all these different sci-fi things that we're doing. Um, I absolutely love it. The battling these aliens. We even battle. We even bring back Thomas Lennon, alien, and battle him as a as a he's an assassin back from his old Rudy uh, character. Uh, Jillian Bell is coming as a captain that we get to. Uh, Archer and her get to have like a captain face off. Um, Sam who, Richardson. Oh yeah, how yeah. would you describe Sam Richardson's character? He's just a little amorphous blob. <laughs> starfish. Somebody said starfish. That's kind of 
Yeah, he's an alien of a race of starfish blob aliens. And that's that's you know very un Arter like for yeah. us to say, yeah, he's a starfish alien blob. Mm -hmm. You know, we've always been like our our usual universes have very discrete and concrete rules, and there's nothing too fanciful inside mm -hmm. of them. And to have him, you know, to have Pam be a giant rock monster and to have you know do these android krieger and yeah. it, it, it's really really different for us and it feels super fun now so this sounds like it's a major rock opera with lots of moving parts how did you guys sort of plot this out since it's quite a bit of a departure from previous mm -hmm. seasons we knew where we wanted to start and we knew where we wanted to end and then we just kind of made i would call them more little discrete missions in between mm -hmm. um, but we we knew where we were, we were going we in, and then we just kind of had to figure out how we got there along the way that was how the planning of it kind of went down would you yeah, say case absolutely and uh, it's uh, always fun to kind of discover those different areas that they might happen into either on purpose or by accident which happens uh, quite a lot on the show <laughs> lots of accidents <laughs> since you guys are an fx sets are you guys pushing the envelope a little bit more from fx i would say that this season it's not about like necessarily the sex and violence and the pushing that way. It's for me, it's like seeing these beautiful images of outer space or images that don't exist, which is usually we make these beautiful images of things that exist. But to see giant space monsters and alien planets and stuff where I feel that we're pushing it is in really interesting, different stories that take place that hopefully you haven't seen before. And I know you haven't seen the visual before. Mm -hmm. And that is the push that I feel. Yeah, I 100% agree. Uh, we've really pushed a lot of visual stuff and animation on our on the production end of, of things. So we're really excited for people to see that. And so, yeah, I think there's going to be a good reaction to it. Yeah. And if there's not, it's his fault. Yeah. <laughs> well, I've seen the little <laughs> teasers that you guys have done, and I am all in. But not honestly, I've been all in from okay. Archer right. from season one. Thank you so much for talking with yeah, me. Thank you. I cannot wait thank to you. see you guys thank this you. May when the show is streaming on FXX. Thank you so much. Thank you.